22 designers, 22 choreographers are kind of thrown together, they've never met before. And that piece, that three, four, five minute piece is yours, it's nobody else's and you have to take responsibility for that. The audience just see this performance, this dance, they don't have any idea of the research and the process. That initial idea on that sheet of paper from a student says, I would like to make this. Some of the best art comes when several minds are put together. So nobody has the right to have the answer to every question in the room artistically. And beautiful things evolve and emerge. to ask me which skills are the most important for a designer, I would say it's probably that of the ability to collaborate, the ability to negotiate an external agenda, someone else's ideas. I chose this project because I get to interact with other people who I don't know. Collaborating with classmates is is different to collaborating with the people who is outside your campus. The pressure is to experiment and to develop the work. So I suppose it creates an environment where risk taking is valued highly and above all else. What I will take away from Design for Dance is the experience of collaborating with real performers, with real other creative people. I think it's very important because in reality it's how it's going to be. These students design wise just have never done anything like this before. It's the typical Central St. Martins, just throw them in the deep end. You go for disaster dance, you got it, you can't. <laughs> it's like, there's no way back. <laughs>